The smell of cheap whiskey billows through the house with deep pores. I imagine it runs through her veins, numbing her wounds while she picks at her sores. The day's pain must be overwhelming. There's not enough liquor in the cabinet or county. She lashes out, deflecting the conflict. In her mind, again, it must be surmounting. Her family's burden became her story. She didn't know how to let it go. Chasing an escape she hoped existed, silently crying, how am I supposed to know? A single mother of four girls since around the age of 25. The 70s and 80s were cruel, but somehow she managed to survive. Making it up as she goes, while harboring a bit of a wild side, trying to balance experiencing her youth while strapping four baby seats into her ride. Some of the best of times were spent, just the five of us alone, sitting on floors or countertops. It didn't matter, with her we were home. Men were never in it for the long haul, agreed to disagree who was at fault. But several fathers later, we stopped calling them daddy once and for all. Shuffling her girls back and forth, off to estranged family or new friends, leaving them alone for days or weeks, regrets she never truly mends. Mistakes made lifetimes ago, we have repeated today on our own. The last time I talked to mom, she cried, I'm sorry, I wish I could have known. The smell of cheap whiskey billows through the house without deep pores, no longer running through her veins, her wounds and sores are no more.